Hello guys, welcome back to DJI Geospatial Solutions Training. Today, we will continue to talk about the photogrammetry background and basics. This is the uh, course part two. So in the, uh, in the last course, uh, part one, we have discussed uh, what is photogrammetry, the pinhole imaging, and how to calculate the actual position of objects through images, how to collect qualified images, through, through drones. So in this course, we will talk about the air triangulation, 2D and 3D reconstruction. So same question, what is air triangulation? So in general, it's about uh, calibrating the imported data. But why does calibration needs to be done? So let's review the principle of photogrammetry first. So the positional accuracy of an image will determine the accuracy of the reconstruct results. So the, in the early stage of the data collection, so even RTK technology is used, the actual the accuracy still needs to be further improved. So for example, as we have uh, talked uh, in last course, so uh, we can use uh, two image to determine the ground object its position, but the ground uh, the object might show might be captured by lots of picture. So there might be lots of position be calculated. So the important role of the error triangulation is to improve the actual uh, the accuracy again. But uh, how was this be processed down? So the step one, we identify the type point in each image and extract them. So what is type point? The type points will be, uh, it with significant changes in brightness or in color in the image. Uh, generally described uh, using the pixel values and their surroundings pixels relationships. For example, in this image, this building definitely has a uh, different outlooking or different color with its surroundings. We could uh, see this building as a tie point. And this tie point might show in many images. And uh, for example, in this picture, uh, the edges or this corner of the building, it has significantly distance color, difference color with its Surroundings, so we can also see this corner as a tie point. So the so first job is we identify the tie points and uh, we extract them, and we find the uh, other images also containing this tie point. And in the step two, we do the tie point matching, associate the same tie point in different images. This way, we ensure that the same type point uh, can be captured by different images. That's why we need overlap. And the extraction algorithms need to be uh, able to associate type points on the different uh, brightness, scale, angle, or other conditions. And the number of the matched type points will be lower than the number of type points extracted in the first step. And in the step three, we do the regional network adjustment. Adjust the camera position and the pose based on matching results. So the position of the tie point can be calculated using two of the image, right? But however, due to the accuracy error or in taking each image, the tie point is calculated to have multiple different positions. But in re reality, the tie point only have one actual position. So we calculate a theoretically actual position for this point based on these points. By using the theoretically position and fine turning the position of, and the posture of the image, the calculated position is made as close as possible to the theoretically position. Thereby, we could improve the accuracy of the original position and posture of the image. So let's see this video again. So we calculated a theoretically position, we changing the, all the images 
changing their position, changing their angle. So in this way, we could make all these points into the uh, close to the theoretically point. So in this way, we improving the accuracy of the original position and posture of the images. Okay, and when adjusting the initial position and posture will be used as a reference and the adjustments will be made within the set range. Uh, for example, the initial uh, post accuracy in DJI Terra has listed horizontally 3 cm and uh, vertically 6 cm. So, the more images captured the same po type point and the more reference uh, information we got, so the stronger the, and the reliability of the adjustments will be. And as for the error triangulation output, uh, first it will output the camera internal parameters. So there are generally nine parameters describe the internal parameters of the camera imaging. Uh, for example, there are two parameters uh, re represents the focus lens, uh, two parameters represents the offset of the main point, and uh, five parameters uh, represents the destination parameters. And you can all change it and input them into DDI Terra. Another output is the elements of the exterior orientation. So the parameters that uh, describe the position and the posture of the camera at the time when taking an image, with, uh, which consists of six parameters and uh, vary for each, each image. So the camera imaging time position, we use X, Y, and Z. And as for the uh, time pose, uh, the image pose, we use the Omega, Phi, and Kappa. But if error triangulation fails, there are some common reasons might include it. For example, the first one is it, it unable to extract the type points because the object might have the same color with a small uh, brightness changes. For example, when we taking the taking images uh, with water surface or walls, for in this case, you can see all these images, they have uh, similar outlooking which makes it uh, hard uh, to get the tie points. And you can see after the air triangulation, there will be less point cloud getting and the, there will be a big hole in the final model. Or the tie point can be matched but has not enough overlap. The collision between the tall buildings and mix is impossible to capture the objects. For example, if there is a high, uh, higher buildings due to the changes of the height, so uh, it results in the insufficient overlap in the rooftop. And there is another uh, problem that might caused by the wrong coordinate system selection. Uh, but if all this thing has been done, so after completing the error triangulation, you can process this 2D or 3D reconstruction. So 2D reconstruction is uh, as for the multiple scattered images taken by the drone. So after air triangulation, we could use 2D reconstruction to ensure that each pixel has latitude and longitude coordinates. So then we could combine the multiple images into a large also photo with an also photo perspective. The side facade of the building cannot be seen. The process of 2D reconstruction uh, uh, goes, uh, first we do the digital image processing. We're digitalizing the acquired image, including removing the destination, correcting the image quality, etc. And then we generated the DTM and DEM, and using the DTM or DEM, we uh, uh, performed the also photo projection and generated an also photo image. And we can also do the 3D reconstruction. So compared to the 2D also photo, so 3D uh, model, it has a very uh, intuitive interface when viewing and, and browsing. 
And uh, for the 3D reconstruction process, so first we're using the data generated from air triangulation and the sparse point clouds. We, pro we perform pixel by pixel for, um, matching to generate the dense point clouds. Uh, and then building the triangulations using the point clouds, creating a preliminary, uh, preliminary model and then smooth model to obtain the final model. Then map the image texture information corresponding to the model to get a, a, a 3D model. If defects are found, so the model can be updated by uh, reshooting and uh, reconstruction or processed with DJI Modify. Okay, uh, this is the uh, end of the part two. So hoping this course will be helpful for you. So let's uh, meeting you in other courses. Bye.